Hey guys, so today we are going to be doing another hair DIY and this time it helps specifically get rid of dandruff also it prevents dandruff and also this routine is great to do if you have dry scalp or if you have extremely extremely oily scalp so first off I'm going to be showing you guys we are going to be using it and I'm going to be explaining everything and then after that I'm going to be showing you the procedure and also the application part so let's get started so the first rinse that we're going to do is the green tea and ACV rinse because green tea is packed with antioxidant it can also help exfoliate your scalp to eliminate the flakes on your scalp it is also rich in vitamin E and C and polyphenols that promotes hair growth and boosts lustrous hair. And the next we'll be using the ACV just because it contains acidic and malic acids that kills bacteria, fungus, bacillus and other microorganisms that causes dandruff. It also balances the pH level of your scalp and it cleanses clogged pores and also helps get rid of itchy scalp. And lastly we are going to be using the chamomile tea rinse because this tea has anti-inflammatory properties. It helps get rid of redness and flakiness that is often related with dandruff. This also assists in strengthening the hair to add a gorgeous luster to it. And this is a great rinse to use if you have dry and flaky scalp. So in hot water, I will be using four green tea bags and I will let them soak in there for 20 minutes. And after that, once it's done, it's going to look something like this. And then I will let that cool down. And then after that, I will be adding in five tablespoons of ACV. And then I will mix them together and I will put that into the spray bottle for easy application. This green tea and ACV rinse is very ideal to do this after you oil your hair because it helps get rid of the excess oils in your hair as well. But right now, just for application purposes, I'm going to do that. And also I find that this works as well even if you're not oiling your hair and you just want to do this rinse before you shampoo and condition your hair. It actually works the same, so it really depends on how you guys are going to be using this. You can also dampen your scalp or your hair for this. So now I'm just simply going to apply this directly onto my scalp. You spray that. Apply this on your scalp to where you can feel that your scalp is really saturated. And also make sure to close your eyes when you apply this because you do not want to get this in your eyes. ACV can really sting on your eyes if you're not very careful. Okay, so now that my scalp is fully saturated with the green tea and ACV rinse, I'm gonna leave this on my scalp for 30 minutes and then I'm gonna be washing it with my organic shampoo. I'm also going to be using conditioner for my hair. And then lastly, we are going to be doing the chamomile rinse. Now for the preparation for the chamomile tea, I used four tea bags there again, and then I let that soak in the water for 20 minutes. And then after that, I let it cool down and then I placed that in the fridge for 15 minutes because this is going to be a cold rinse. And that is a yummy thing right there, but it's completely irrelevant to this video, so let's move on. So now after 15 minutes on the fridge, I will go ahead and use that chamomile rinse on my scalp and I just realized how extremely hard and awkward to do this on camera but you know I just let it happen so I'm simply going to leave that on my hair I remove the excess water and then let my hair air dry okay you guys so here's their salt as you can see my scalp is really really clean right now I really like how this also cleanses your scalp if I could do one thing differently instead of pouring the chamomile tea directly on my scalp I could have just put that in a spray bottle once again and I could have just sprayed that directly onto my scalp just because I really want my scalp to be saturated with the chamomile tea and not really drench my hair with it. Okay, so here are the things that I observe. If your hair is extremely oily, I really do suggest that you use the green tea slash the ACV rinse. But however, if you notice that your scalp is really dry, the chamomile rinse is absolutely amazing for dry scalp. And also, let me just like prompt you all, just in case if you're like weirded out or freaked out on the first try that you're using this, and if you notice that you're just like, your scalp is like flaky, that's kind of natural, the green tea and especially the ACV rinse. If you haven't done it for such a long time or if it's the first time that you've tried it it kind of just like it exfoliates your scalp so therefore you have those flakes coming off your scalp but as soon as you get rid of them your scalp is just gonna go back to its normal state it's not gonna persist that it's gonna do that every single day it doesn't happen to everybody but just in case if you experience that thing don't freak out and I really do recommend that you try this out one to two times a week or even three times a week just because when you deal with dandruff it doesn't really just come off 
just by one go. If you all have experience dandruff in your hair or if you have experience um, eczema or like psoriasis on your scalp or just basically dry scalp in general or having an oily scalp, you know that you know after like two days or like it comes back again. So it would be great to do this treatment consistently and see if this works for you. So that is it. I hope you guys liked this video and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you on my next one. Bye!